What's up, everybody? We're back, and Renzo's back. I'm back. You forgot to say party people. Hey, what's up, everybody? Party people. No, I think that was wrong, too. What's up, party people? <laughs> there it is. Uh, this is D-Mac and Rennie. Yeah, hey, I'm back. He's I back. A, I was on vacation for seven days up in uh, Sacramento. Yes, how was Sacramento, my friend? Hey, it was fun. Okay. I got there with my nephew Jonathan, got to hang out in Jackson with Rick and his family. I got to meet a, one of his family members, Mitchell. It was really cool. Went yeah, to some yeah. old parts of uh, California, 1820 buildings that are built in the 1820s. What, like a gold, those gold rush buildings? Yeah, what? Sutter's Creek. I went through like all those old towns. It was nice. A couple wineries, yeah. wine tasting. Oh, yeah, we knew you had to get a little bit of alcohol. It was super, super nice people. Yeah. Everywhere I went, everybody was friendly. Hey, so you, how you doing? Everybody was wearing uh, masks. No, no, no. Hey, but, you know, it's yeah, you a go. trip because you go into the big cities. Everybody's all masked up. Well, not thank God, not anymore. I think yeah. we're getting close yeah, to, the, to the date where yeah. COVID's gonna miraculously uh, disappear. It's, it's, it's the sixteenth, right? Fifteenth. Is it fifteenth? I don't know. Uh, it's gonna be the new Fourth of July. Right? Yeah, the big celebration. People are gonna go on the street. Ah! No, no kidding. Like they want to cancel the Fourth of July, but oh, after we get uh, COVID, we're gonna have the COVID day. Yeah, and then. Yeah. Um, you know, kind of speaking of that, um, and, you know, that Dr. Fauci kind of lying about uh, some COVID stuff, but we'll get into a uh, we'll get into that a little bit later at some All other right. time. All right. All right. Hey, we got some questions. Yeah, we got some questions. A lot. A few. A few. Uh, hey, this is the last uh, last questions to ask a contractor. Last fifteen. Uh, um, it's the last fifteen. Last fifteen. Can you believe we did a hundred? Yes. We're about to complete a hundred questions. Well, I mean, how many questions literally do we get from our? Customers. Oh, I get like and, five to ten a week. At yeah, least. five to ten a week. We've been doing. Oh, well, I've been doing this now for you know thirty years. You've been doing it now for like ten. So yeah. that's a uh, thirty times ten times one. We're probably close to maybe about three thousand questions. <laughs> at, three thousand different types of questions that yeah. we get from our customers. It's crazy. It could be just things way off. You know where you're. Yeah. You know you hear about. Hey, can you replace a piece of glass? And you know everything from. You know how much does a now, does a second story cost more than a, oh, than, than yeah. a you know, a addition down below? I mean, it ranges from from everything. And it's construction. It's yeah, and it can change. You know, uh, we've always said that we well, we're problem solvers. Okay. Yeah, we're we're uh, we're doctors. We're doctors oh. for, for homes. Well, let's start these questions. No, what no, makes no, family home improvements? I don't want to start. <laughs> well, well, start yet. I'm having a good time. No, go ahead. What makes family home improvements different from other contractors? Well. We are uh, we fam family like a lot of family works uh, works here. Um, you know we have been doing it for thirty years. We're heavy on the customer service. Heavy on the customer service. Hands uh, on. You you meet all of us. I mean you meet me. You meet David. You even meet Brandon. Brandon. Um, Angel. We all show up. Everybody that works shows up at every job site. We're all um, part of it. Yes. And then um, you know one of the things that has been a great benefit to me is now that we're filming all of our jobs it's like our job used to be great but like they're even greater now because we're making sure that everything is detailed because it's going to be on film yeah. and on video yeah yeah nice. so it's kind of a checkup for yeah. us yeah. yeah it's a nice uh, a nice way to kind of ensure that at the end of the work's going to be i mean at the end that work's going to be done well and um you know, once uh, you know, once the job's done at the end, we have like a completion certificate, and if you're not happy, four ninety nine, right? Yeah, and I also walk through with my own completion certificate. I make sure. Okay. And I, sometimes on a job site, you need more than one eye. You need like three sets of eyes to go through it. I tell customers all the time, "Hey, I know my guy's working, but sometimes you know he misses something. That's why I come and look, and this is why David will come after me." Yes. You know, you'll catch something I didn't catch. Yeah. I it mean, happens. So typically it'd be the customer doing the walkthrough, our job supervisor doing a walkthrough, uh, Renzo, and then myself, and even Brandon when he's there is filming. Sometimes they'll call and go, guys, this, this doesn't, doesn't look right. <laughs> this doesn't look right, Renzo. This Renzo, can you come here? I'm like, how do you know? And no, it doesn't look right, Renzo. And it's, uh, it's kind of, you know, doing this for so long, when the customers call in and tell me, David, this doesn't look right, they're usually right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you can tell kind of common sense. And if you're a customer out there, do not, uh, don't let just the contractor just, oh, that's okay, because you're gonna end up later looking at yeah, it. Yeah, you'll regret it. And you'll regret don't let it. them, I'll, I'll take care of it later. Yeah, yeah, I'll take care of it, or I like it later, or any of that. Make sure that your guy goes through it, even if you feel like you're being picky or detailed, you're paying good money for it. 
make sure that it gets done correctly. All right. All right. What I'm... warranties and insurance does home, family home improvement have? Okay, so uh, most of our products got a lifetime warranty. Yeah, windows, yeah. the tax coat, the roof. Most of your products have a, Patio a, cover. a six year labor warranty. Yeah, six year. Right. And sometimes we cover later. I mean, I've had people call me eight, nine years later, an older person. I, I still take care of it. Yeah, well, it depends on, you know, and what it is. They'll give me a testimonial. Sometimes yeah. it's not something little. No, and a lot of times we can either get uh, other jobs. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. I, I did a window recently, got a warranty through a window, and we ended up with a bathroom remodel. Go figure. What was that one? <laughs> Hacienda Heights. Yeah, in Hacienda Heights. They, they, they got, got, got their windows, and they were like, wow, you can get these windows changed for me? Like, yeah. Yes. So yeah, we had, um, and um, what are the, our insurances? Oh, we cover everything. We have a $2 million liability, liability. insurance. We have Workman's Comp. Workman's Comp. Uh, we just got our bill for Workman's Comp the first time that Workman's Comp ever owed us money. They owe me money. How about that? That's state like, state fund. <laughs> they um, owe me $1,500. And um, so we also have our insurance for our bond. Yeah, in case um, you know, every contractor should have a bond in the state of California for fifteen thousand dollars. Minimum. If, yes, minimum. And that's because of you know, if they don't do good work, you can go after their bond, and then their um, their bond pays uh, pays you guys. And so, but uh, usually we have uh, the the material and uh, material and labor warranty, and then all of our uh, bond, insurances yeah. for insurances for our company, yeah. right? And then just you know, regular car insurances and stuff like yeah, that basic stuff yeah well with contracting almost uh i want to say about 75 percent do not have like let's say workman's contract. oh they all don't they might have a contractor's license but they don't yeah. have work it's contract. like driving a car you could drive a car with the license but you know you could drive it without insurance but it's illegal they yeah. do the same thing until their finger gets cut off yeah um <laughs> we've had a couple of occurrences and thank goodness we've had insurances yeah one time they burned the house down they burned that house down. yeah as eating. But two hundred and eighty thousand dollars later they got a brand new house. There you go. Yeah. And your homeowner's insurance does not cover any of this stuff, folks. Do not I believe that. Yeah, do not believe that. That's the biggest fallacy that there is out there that your homeowner's insurance is gonna cover a contractor out there doing work. Everybody in the state of California that works has to have workmen's comp in any business if you're working in, you know, if you have employees. Yeah, yeah. But people don't people pay cash and do a bunch of crazy stuff in this. That's why they're half the price. Yep. How much would family home improvements charge for three or more window replacements? Um, what do you think? It varies. It varies? I mean, I mean your average window is going to be like five to seven hundred plus installation. So usually about eight to a thousand dollars. Yeah. Window, depending on the size. I mean, yeah, it depends on the size. I mean, uh, you right. got a six foot window. That costs like two grand. <laughs> right. If, if you go on and just put in uh, windows, uh, like uh, replacement windows near me, you'll get a lot of the local guaranteed companies come out. And right underneath there, it'll tell you the average window is between seven fifty and a and thousand. 20. Yeah. And it, it breaks down the window cost and then the labor cost to install those windows. Yeah, That's about right. Yeah, because it, it's just not the window. They got to put foam in it. You got to use silicone and the silicone's really expensive right now. The foam's really expensive and then all the trimming that goes yeah. into it. And the late, you know, just just labor in general and with then, workman's comp and all that and stuff. And also the price also includes the removal and disposal of the windows. Yes. And then uh, we sometimes even have uh, one one sliding glass door that we do, yeah. right? So it's just one one big sliding door. Typically, we try to do you know a minimum of twenty five hundred to three thousand dollars because it literally costs us eight hundred dollars just to start the truck and get the guys moving yeah, out there. Yeah, get them moving. In out fact, there. a lot of times we'll do hey buy three get one free. Yeah. Um, some stuff like that. So because it costs the same. It, yeah, I have um, had customers like, hey, can you replace you know one or two windows? We're like, can you pick a couple other ones? We're already out there. I'm basically going to charge you the same price. So um, having a couple extra windows does help. But about you know three windows is around the minimum or so. Some that that we would do out there. And the more you do. The better the price we get. And there's this thing as a standard window. People go, how much does it cost for a standard window? Oh, like, thank you. What's a standard window? Yeah. And there's no standard windows what when it comes it? to replacement windows unless you're going to Home Depot and buying a standard window and now you're making the window fit. Yeah, right? bring, bring, you know, yeah, yeah, making the house fit the window, not the window fit the house. Yeah. Right? So that's breaking stucco, oh, dry framing. Yeah. So you end up getting a cheap window. 
And then with more labor. With more labor on there. Yeah. Lots of labor. Not lots of labor. How much would family home improvements charge for exterior Texaco painting on a single family home? So, you know, your trim, let's say if you're just only doing the, the woodwork and the trim, depending obviously if it has siding and, you know, ease and the condition it's in. So typically, let's say a trim job goes from $3,500 to Maybe seventy five hundred dollars. Yeah, you know, there's more work in trim work. I know. Like People we, don't understand. No. Well, because you know, there's so much prepping and sanding and sanding. wood replacement. Yeah, that's yeah. where all the damage is, is usually in the house. Yes, a lot of it. And um, when we go back for uh, warranty claims, typically it's a little bit of the bottom of the stub go, but um, a lot of times it's your like fascia boards. Fascia yeah. boards are especially when they're facing south. Yeah, um, they get hammered. Yes, they get hammered by the sun. Um, so our text code, uh, cool wall painting products or our life paints. Life paints. Yeah, either one of those have a, a stretchability to them so yeah. that if, uh, you know, when the sun's hitting on them, they're able to fle uh, stretch. Yeah, even the patching stuff, it, it flexes. Yeah, yeah, flex patch. Yeah, because yeah. if you use like Bondo, that stuff cracks. That stuff cracks. And then our um, caulking that we use there is an elastomeric caulking. So it's, it's flexible. California, it's probably... Uh, uh, like last night, it was literally f like 58 degrees or 55, and today it's going to be, I think, uh, 100 and humid or something like that. Well, humid. So, how much does a step go? Well, we talked about trim. How much would the, the whole house would cost? Okay, stucco? so now we're talking about stucco, depending if it's really bad damage, we're blasting. Then we're, you know, re restuccoing uh, with patching. Like, like wood pounding, paneling, party yeah. siding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, that one you're usually looking at anywhere between uh, 5000 and let's say $10,000 or so. So they blast that. That's like a two bedroom, single story house. Well, three yeah. Well, so now, you know, house. what you would do is you would say- About okay, 30 the, squares, 3,000 yeah. square feet. Yeah. yeah. So you go over the trim. Is this cost what we just yeah. spoke about? And then like, let's say the walls would be this cost. So sometimes customers uh, just only do the trim. Uh, other times they might only just do the walls if the trim is in good shape. Yeah, no, yeah. I've so seen that happen. The texture coating, you gotta blast it, you gotta patch it, and then you gotta put a full prime base. And then it's like putting on maybe three coats of, of an elastomeric paint. It's really, really thick on there. But once it's on there, you know, you're able to clean it, wash it off. You can hose it off. Um, you hose it off. You don't even need a power washer in house after that. Yeah. You can hose it off. And then, I mean, I even tell my customers every two years, just go ahead and wash it down. It's like sp spraying scar yeah. starter at your house. Yeah, it's like the, uh, if you ever go to the in and out and see how they're kind of real nice and smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real, real, it has a little sheen to it. Yeah. That's what you're going to get well, with the texture coating jobs or the light paint jobs. All right, cool. cool. Can family home improvements complete the permit requirements? Uh, yeah, so I have a specialist in my office named Renzo. He takes, <laughs> he takes care of all the permitting. Um, yeah. You know, we take care of if it's an apartment building, we can call the housing authority, get that done. We got the HO. The, the HOAs. I, HOAs. I know how to do all that. He yeah. knows how to do all that. A permit process right now is it like pulling sucks. teeth. Yes. Earth sucks. You know, we're on some projects right now. It's taking over a year and a half oh my to God. get approvals. Um, you know, some of that has to do with uh, the city, some city has to do with slow. the engineering, some has to do with Alex Cueto, Dragon. Yeah, Soul. Alex. What's up, Alex? Um, you know, there's just so, there's so many variables right yeah, now with, yeah. you with can't, permitting. You know, you used to be able to go into it, the permit office, and yeah. fight with them. Yeah. Not gone in there, not fought. Be like, hey, no, bring your manager. This is right. This is my architect. This is engineer. Some of the guys like, no, I'm all... So you're telling me I had to dig four feet down in the backyard to retain while it's gonna fall. The guy's like, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Right. And I'm like, duh, come on, sign this off right now. Boom, they sign it off. Yeah. And now I can't, it's just like. Well, hopefully after June 15th. They let me go in there now. You know, fight. while COVID. So don't let me get in there with my boxing gloves. Alex, come with me, I'll take Alex Patrol with me. They're like, oh, yeah. oh who's that? Are you a know, Bill guy? Like, yeah, I don't want me. Alex, He's all like, take uh, my cousin Ito. Yeah, I'll take one of them with me. Don't hurt. We'll take the line, man. Oh, yeah, get pass up Justin, I'll bring somebody with me. Yeah, well, we got Justin, the little buff dude right yeah. there. Right? We'll make sure, uh, make sure don't worry about permits, folks. We'll make sure and get and take care. Yeah, of and we do it to the T. Every inspector I've worked with, they always tell me I do a clean, clean job. work, clean work, clean work. They're yeah. like, you guys never have a problem. I it's mean, really buttoned down. And during so. Christmas, we literally changed the whole plan. Oh yeah. And they let us move forward on, or else we would have lost two months. Yeah, um, but we just do such good work that yeah, just clean, uh, very very clean work. Right. If you're working clean. 
Um, right to code. Characters come. Everything to code. Everything to code. Yeah. Even if we don't have a permit, we still do it to code. Oh, yeah. Everything gets done to code. I've done it to where I've had even Alex just come out just to make sure that, you know, our framing or any of our stuff is, um, you know, all written down, at least on a piece of paper. Yeah, the loads are done right. Yeah, yeah. And so even for permits, some people ask us, hey, do retrofit windows need permits? And then it's most of the time they don't pull permits, but you have to make sure like in your windows for your bedrooms, they be egress, yeah. which you got to be able to escape out of them. And then there's a laws where you have to have tempered glass if it's like in a shower or, or within, it's a low window. Yeah. Or yeah, there's a low window. So there's or it's above you. Yeah. So you got to make sure that there's, um, uh, there's probably four or five different things with just windows, windows alone. And, yeah. and if you're doing any electrical plumbing, framing, any of that type of stuff, it's all should be done with permits, but we take care of that. And, you know, we, we do all the process. The customer doesn't have to do that. We're all licensed and then they check our workman's comp and all that stuff on there. So, all right. Yo, um, you can read these next ones. Yeah. All right. Like this paper? Yeah, no, no, I'm good. So what, uh, what, uh, what services or other services as family, what, you know, what do we do for our customers? What do we provide? Um, um, well, the services we provide is we do roofing, we do windows. We do exterior remodels. Uh, we do uh, room additions, ADUs, we kitchens, do kitchens, bathrooms, bathrooms. Uh, yeah. Like most of the time with bathrooms, we it's just a customer request. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, they're kind of like smaller, and then you know bathrooms are you know fifteen thirty grand, and people are like bathrooms are that much. Yeah. You charge them that for a kitchen, they don't care. But for a bathroom, they're like, wow, it's a small I thing. Mean, we're good at designing. I mean, you're, you're really good at the kitchen. You so that, we, we're good at the I do the exterior homes. You see my, my you stuff. Got, you got better. Who'd you get trained by? You. Yeah. I, so even our own guys, they're just regular work guys. It's it's weird. Like I, I get to the job and I'm like, this, this is a change up or something. What happened here? It looks nice. It's like, oh, you know, Mario. Mario was doing this, I'm like, wow. So they get so used to the way that I like to design and the style of my design that they are, they're they already just normal dudes, you know, no nice colors, they know how to put nice trim work yeah. um, on all that stuff. So uh, we, you know, we price it, I can design it for you, put the colors together for we you. We also project manage a lot. Yes. You know, that, that, that's one service that people take for granted. They hire a contractor that works for himself and he's not really project managing, he's just doing it. and. I keep it up and he slows down work. We come in and we're all, whoosh. hey, move this along, guys. Move this along. Let's get, why are you stalling here? Hey, this and this, no? Here, yeah. Here's a check, get that done now. Or we split Or we split our guys. Yeah, or sometimes we'll, 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 we'll call in someone else to get stuff yeah, done. Yeah, we might, so, yeah, if we're running behind, we might. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the advantage you get with us is yeah. we, we move it along. Yeah, because we're sticklers that are making sure we finish <laughs> on time. Yeah, yeah. You want to? If they fall behind, we fall behind, our budgets fall behind, and generally that's not good. Yeah, so um, basically we can almost do anything almost from the ground up, right? Oh, anything. Yeah. I can build a house from the ground up. Yeah, I mean, we have the, the architects, it. <laughs> the design. I use the designers, the engineers. We have engineers yeah. and stuff. So if you've got yeah. any problems with something like that, if we can't help you, then we will send somebody that we know. We can uh, refer you to something. Yeah, refer you. I mean, we got to call for some wrought iron work that you know we don't really do, but we know Adam, yeah. Adam our wrought yeah. iron guy, does beautiful somebody. work. So we can, hey man, just send Adam right over there. Customers love it. And then they'll keep us in mind for anything in the future. All right. So All right, yeah. man. Uh, does family home improvements uh, have any referrals that I can look up? Um, yeah, we have tons of referrals. So a lot of our customers, we even give them the referrals and then they actually go out. If you go onto our YouTube uh, channel, there's probably three or four people that randomly just say, oh yeah, you know, we went to go see a couple of jobs. There's a lady in Pasadena. Yeah, she went out. Yeah, she went out and she actually talked to the, talked to the people, yeah. saw the work. Um, I'm not scared. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. We they, they ask me which city and I'll give them everybody I have in that city. Yeah. And, phone uh, numbers. And a couple of times I give them, I just can I have the phone number too? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, do, do you need to call them? I'm like, no. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, you know, just be, yeah, you they can, can be honest with you. Yeah, yeah even, even okay. like if you'd expect that every contractor is going to be perfect, I mean, no one's perfect. We do a hundred jobs, 95 of them come out perfect. And then five of them, you got to kind of work through, you know, but at the end of the job, um, I've never not finished a job. No. Or not. We've taken losses. Yeah, uh, losses. Tons of, you know, we lost $10,000 in, in Norwalk. Norwalk. Yeah. yeah. We, 
I hope you're enjoying your place, Adriana. Yeah, Adriana. Free, we paid you ten grand to do your place. Yeah, yeah was there we go. Ten grand, but we Merry finished. Christmas. Yeah, but we finished, right? Yeah, it was yeah. an early Christmas gift. Early Christmas gift. Yeah. Well, God will bless us. Yeah, God will bless us. Well, He already has. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, how does family home improvements uh, own? Uh, do we only work in uh, residential properties? About ninety five percent of the time. Uh, yeah. Someone asked me that the other day. I, I said, No, we do commercial too. Yeah. Well, we have apartments. We got, apartments. We got yeah, like, apartments. Uh, we're gonna be doing windows. We did Joe Bueno's place. Yeah. We're doing the one uh, across the across the way. Yeah. I did some uh, apartment buildings over here in um, in uh, Bell Gardens. So if you have an apartment building that. You know, you're just not trying to do junk work on, but you want to do something just relatively okay. We don't have to do the super high end stuff. But we, I know, I see people fix their apartment buildings and paint them continuously every five years. Yeah. And you go with us, you'll do it once oh. and you'll be done. Yeah, you'll you don't be have done. to worry about it. Yeah, <laughs> have a couple of times. <laughs> Until you sell your building. Right. Yeah. And then uh, a lot of that stuff even transfers um, transfers over to the to the new, the um, new ownership. The new ownership. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, um, how do I know I'm getting the best deal with family home improvements? Well, that we got that statement about that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so um, typically, what will happen is I'll we'll leave you prices good for uh, six months. Yeah. Right. And, and I, you know, I used to do longer, but the prices it's like the stock market. Yeah. And I go, zip, zip, zip. Right. And so people most of the time will ask me, "Hey, uh, that same question, you know." Um, I get to the end, it's this month, well, well, what can you do for me? What kind of deal? So over so many years, um, I started seeing what the costs were, um, yeah. how much it costs to go visit clients and do all that. So I was able to put a program together for like a today kind of low price, the very lowest drop down price. And so I go through about five different ways that I can save money. Um, you know, basically right on the spot. So if you're saying, hey, six months from now, hey, I'll leave you the quote, but you're like, hey, if I'm ready to do some business right yeah. now. You could always do, what do they say? Two birds in the hand or in a feather or, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> no, I went to Southgate High School. I got like a sixth grade reading level. Now, so <laughs> I could thank God I got I could even know, how, I, I kind of know how to speak, right? <laughs> Um, uh, what is family home improvement, uh, general contract? Um, our general stuff is the roofs, windows, yeah, is it, exterior. Yeah. Well, we are we're, considered we're, general contract. We're, we're, we're general B. We could do just about everything on a residential house. If we go into commercial, then we need our specialized license that we, you know, we have a window for. Window or painting uh, license. Yeah, after that, we had to sub out for like electrical and stuff. We have a painter, we have a decorator. Right. You still have that. So yes. It's still there. And we still have the glazing one. So. Yeah, so you got specialty licenses and then we have our job. The general, general covers, license, kind of yeah. covers a whole house of residential. Right. And then even just while well, it says contract, we write every little detail on our contract. Yeah. Um, we have one specific for windows, one specific for exterior, one specific for roof, one specific for HVAC, and then we have like a general one that we yeah. can just kind of write um, write all of our stuff on. Um, does family home improvements uh, offer addendums? You know, that happens a lot. Like, so first off, what is an addendum? Well, it's a change order. Okay. It's changed to the order, sometimes additional. So sometimes someone comes to me and says, you know what? I liked all the windows. Can you do the patio door? Yes. So instead of writing up a whole other contract, it's an additional to the contract. It's still tied to the original contract, but it just puts the details of the of the new item that right. I'm adding to it. Uh, one other one we have for addendum. Usually when I do my pricing, um, I, I do it. I break down with individual pricing, and sometimes by the time we do the job, they're like, you know, I'm not sure if I really want to do that security door. Let's just say I just had that happen. And we go back into my notes and don't say, hey, I charge $500 to buy the security door and install it. And so yeah. they could do an addendum with a deduction on there. Um, so at the end of the job or before the job, addendums, you want to write every change order, every single and thing. And Miss White, man, you have like five addendums in that thing. Right, but. I had to go through it, sifting through them. I'm like, what's right? But it's good so that no, they know yeah. what's going on, you yeah, know what's going on, yeah. the work what's going on I go on and there's no like hey did you talk about this hey we had a conversation about this yes no we did it's what's on paper it's what's what's here what's there and so uh, it's like your dream part one of the biggest uh, problems in contracting is not writing details of what you're doing and then what you're not doing. Yeah, the contractor sometimes gets screwed. Yep. That well, happens a lot. Well, you said you're going to do well, this. Well, see, I, I feel that it's 
I, I feel that uh, the honest contractor was the one that gets screwed, but yeah. there's not too many of those honest guys. So the other guys go, that's not uh, on the contract. I'm out of here. Yeah, or that's not on the contract. And you're like, oh, well, we spoke about that. So a very important to what you do and didn't speak about to put on there. A lot of times you write a contract, you may finish the job a month later, and you for, kind of forgot the conversations in detail. Yeah, you know, no, that right? happens a lot. Yeah. Adriana got us like that. No, there's and we had it written down and she's like, I wanted this. We've had people on video on video, point that color. The color, that's the color I want. Yes. And then, then they tell me, you tricked me, I didn't pick that. And then we show the video and they're like, don't come to my house anymore. <laughs> so even at like that, writing it down on paper and video and all that's that still, stuff. Still, but um, Human my brother-in-law says, David, I don't, I don't even know how you do it. You know, you got to deal with people in their, in their, um, you know, in their homes. And so it just is what it is. We've been doing this for a long time. If you're up, if you're in front of it, if you're not in a hurry and you're writing everything down, um, typically, like I said, 95% of the time, you're just getting right through it. Everything's on paper. And if it does get a little hairy, you, know, you go ahead and go go fix it. Yeah. What are some of family home improvements guarantees? Well, guarantees is kind of the warranties of the six year. $4.99. Oh, four, oh, there you go. The $4.99 guarantee. Four ninety nine guarantee. That's if uh, if you're not happy with the work, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. That's that's pretty much a, one of the one of the biggest guarantees that that we have. I don't think anybody else has a guarantee. I don't that's think so. Either. Right? No, no. Doesn't exist. Yeah, I had one customer. Uh, I've one handed out three of them. Yeah. So you know, and sometimes it's not even like our we kind of are doing. No, sometimes it's the our our, our vendors. They were slow. Manufacturer was slow. Yes. Some delays. Right. And you know, those delays are unhappy for the customer. Unhappy for us. Sometimes it's permits to the city. Yes. I think I'm going to owe my cousin $4.99 because the permit's in the city. <laughs> I got to go, here you guys go, $4.99. So. Okay. You know, if it's family, if it's cousins, it's whatever. You, it doesn't you know, matter. If you have a guarantee, it is. It, it is what it is. It is what it is. I got to so. live by it. Yep. No. Next. Next question. Does family home improvements have any current discounts or offers? Um, it depends on like what we're doing right now. I think Brandon had a summer sizzle. The summer sizzle. Yeah. Smelling so, like bacon. Yeah. So we like buy, uh, what was it? Like buy three, get one free. All right. right that would be right. on, on windows. If we're doing texture coating or any exteriors, if you're doing trim, uh, trim and exterior. And what um, we have, cause we're using life paint right now. We have a discount. Yeah. What was it? 25% off. 25%. That's a, that, that's a special one, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, I forgot to tell you about that. <laughs> <laughs> right, right now on roofs, it's really tough. Yeah, I can't give a discount. Yeah, there. I mean, I'm actually yeah. telling customers if they can hold off on doing roofs. Yeah, wait till like uh, who knows. Who just who knows? I mean, we're just we're, we're kind of gambling with that, but um, and it's not the roofing material; it's the wood, the yeah. plywood, and and the the, the wood is just ridiculous. Yes, and if you let us, um, there's some times that if we could do some testimonials or before and afters, I do anywhere between um, eight and twenty percent. A discount to let us do our, our, our we call it a, the wrap wrap program. The you know it's a yeah. customer wrap program. Yeah, <laughs> one of those. One of those. <laughs> um, so it's like a, a referral appreciation program. Yeah, um, wrap program, and so um, that way we can get the filming, and we end up just sending out emails and knocking on doors in the area. If you can do that, so. Um, a couple other discounts would be like, uh, you know, senior citizen. Yeah, military. Yeah, vets, sometimes we have some vets, vets and military. military. We have some rebates sometimes that the, that the uh, manufacturers. The first time home buyers, we always try to help them yeah. out. You know, they just bought a house and they're trying to get some new windows in. Yeah. They can't I, really afford it. So we've helped some of those a lot of young, times, young couples out. Yes. Uh, a lot of times I've got to go back to the house. You know, once to visit them, then once again to go over. And so, if you could, if I don't have to go back and forth to fifty to two hundred and fifty dollars, not good. having to go back and forth. So sometimes I get, you know, hey, these are original, um, you know, six month prices for twenty grand, and you get two hundred and fifty off for being a senior. There might be an incentive for three hundred bucks. Yeah. Right, and then you have like, hey, if I don't have to come back, I'll save you another three hundred. And then if we can do some filming, here's a thousand, so you can see maybe like a. You know, maybe even two thousand dollar. I've had some where they've been so big where I can get a discount of like, see people save three, four thousand dollars on 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 being able to do uh, work for us. All right, cool. cool. Uh, will family home improvements complete uh, my project on time? Uh, I'm stickler. Yes and no. <laughs> being, well, I'm stickler for being on time. So yeah. I would say maybe eighty five percent of the time. Yeah, there's some hurdles that you know the city. 
yeah. manufacturer. Like right now, Texco, we have a house that's primered and we're not going to finish it till July. Yeah. Nothing. That's two months from now. Right. So even though it's out of our hands. It's, it's, out, it's out of our hands. Yeah. So, but we'll still finish. Yeah. We'll still finish. The customer knows. We left it primed so it doesn't look all crazy. We moved all the paper. Um, so that all. When window projects, they, they always get on time. I never fall behind on window projects. It's fairly the delivery date and install date yeah, yeah no problem and so we also have a uh, that's that our satisfaction our 499 yeah. you know on time on satisfaction yeah. the roofs eh, they'll sometimes get delayed but again out of my control it's the city yes I, if it was just roof no permit i could do one in three days yes but uh also the permits, five to ten there's also weather yeah weather yeah it gets in the way sometimes yeah we're living here wind. When was the last time it rained? We remember. Yeah. I mean, no, it was just we had a couple of jobs when we had that wind and that weather about yeah. three or four months ago that we had to kind of slow down. Um, but pretty much, you know, everything gets done on time if we're yeah. doing an exterior. Hey, guys work. If it's David or me on the job site, stuff's getting done. Yeah, they get, they'll get pushed. I show up. I show up constantly every day, and they're like, "All oh, Renzo's here." Yeah. <laughs> but, I don't even say anything. I just look at them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, I gotta go talk to Renzo, David. The, inspect, the inspector gadgets <laughs> here to go. Or I have Brandon's eyes on the job, and he'll tell me. He'll let me know. Hey, Renzo, this is not looking good. So you might want to come and check this yeah. out. So, so yeah, um, uh, on time. We should be there, you know. Be like, oh, the guys also working for oh, Monday that, through Saturday. And yeah, and the guys are always on time. Yeah, they're yeah. early. Yeah, they're early. If anything, they want to be early. Yeah, they're calling us for material. I, like I'm like seven in the morning. You know, like, hello, hello. Like, hey, I'm here at the Home Depot. I'm in the shower. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hey, I'm here at Home Depot. I need some stuff or whatever. You know, they're always up. Hey, do they got the colors picked? Do they have this? You know, beforehand they don't want to wait. Um, they just want to go finish their job and move on to the next job. A lot of guys linger, do a little bit here, they do a little bit there. Alex? Yeah, we just go boom, we want to finish the job right, quick, and then move on to our, our next job. All right, that's the end of our questions. So what do you think about these hundred questions that we did? Well, I think the there's adventure. one. I think How long did it take us? I think there's one more. Why should I choose family home improvement? Oh, I didn't get that. I think that's the that's final, final one. Yeah, that's the final one. Why yeah. should I choose family home improvements? Well. Well, because it runs on David. Because it runs on David. Well, really, I would say because you get us. You get us. You you get us, right? Most country, most companies, you never see the owner. You don't even meet the owner. You don't meet the project manager. All you do is get the the foreman. Yeah. Here, you get to meet everybody. Yeah. So we hold your hands from beginning to end. Even one of our uh, like reps, like Angel, went out uh, this last week. Got a couple of contracts. Um, I showed up. And then um, went through it, did all the details with the customer. He was happy. He's like, you're the owner? I'm like, yeah. Uh, then I had some appointments yesterday. He showed up with the uh, the samples of the flooring for the decking, yeah. the composite flooring. And, uh, you know, went out there. So just before the job even started, there's already been three, right. three right. people. Yeah. Oh, and Mario yeah. and Gonzalo were out there. Yeah. And by the time we even leave your project, we kind of become your family and your yeah. friends. You know, a lot of people tell me, Afterwards, they call me still like, hey, Renzo, what's going on now? Just checking up on you. How's David doing? I'm like, he's doing great. Okay, is something wrong with your house? No, everything's fine. Just call and say hi. <laughs> um, so, yeah, number one would be in this business, a, it's a service business. So, yeah. you want to make sure you're hiring the correct service people, yeah. service to, uh, to do the work. And then just our our history, you know, 30 years, workman's comp. We got a, a spick and, you know, super clean um um, record. We've yeah. never had any no complaints. any complaints, no None occurrences them. at the None contractor them. state license board. We have our like on time guarantee. We have our satisfaction um, guarantee. Our mm-hmm. six year labor. We got tons of testimonials. Guarantee. I got phone lists for days. Yeah, testimonials, phones, referrals. Um, I'm a designer. I flip houses. Um, I'm a designer. Too. Yes. <laughs> exterior, not interior. Um, we got. Well, good products. We got a variety of products. It's not always high, high end. I do. We don't do low end, just you know the cheap stuff. But you know we do got a good range. We got uh, three different uh, quality types of windows. Yeah. We know our stones, our rocks. So yes, yeah, stucco, painting, uh, uh, any of that stuff. So, Rock work on the side of a house, brick work. Yeah. So party backer. Right. So you know uh, any of that type of uh, stuff that needs to be done, family home improvements really could take care of um, all that. You can feel comfortable with guarantees. And we'll hold your hand all the way through it. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. Thank you for joining our hundred question jubilee. Uh, How long did it take us? A month? I don't know. It took about a month or so, but I think we're 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 good. 
I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. All right, we'll see you later. We'll see you later. Thank you very much for joining us, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll I see give you. away f advice for free. And we refer people anyway, so um, we're just hoping to be uh, your go-to contractor, hopefully for the rest of your life, because we do so much of this stuff. Thank you very right. much. We'll see you guys later.